Hey, what's up guys? Rotobit here, and we are playing The Long Dark again. It's been a long time since I last played this game. It's finally updated with single player, and I thought I'd give it a go. And it's been a while since my last upload, and sorry about that. Well, I was busy with work. But, in any case, let's start a new game, shall we? Okay, I'm assuming that because I haven't been keeping up with this game for a while, while I'm assuming that all of the episodes have been released. It was uh, this game was launched like uh, last year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's go with Capable Survivor. Uh, story one should be okay. Man, the last time I played this game was when it still was in uh, open beta. No, I'm sorry, uh, early access. Sorry about that. Single player is was not available then. It was all sandbox. And I've been curious about the single player as well. That was an actually a, a very long blackout. I actually thought my game crashed. Here we are in this winter wonderland. The Aurora is beautiful. Though. Ow! Not something I want to see. Um. Oh, okay. I have to look at it. Remove metal! Bring back punk rock! That doesn't make sense, but you know. Ow. I'm not sure if the characters that we play are the same as in the, we need to find some shelter from this the sandbox mode. How do I open journal? J? Okay, there we go. Day one, if you remain exposed, you'll die! Find the cave to shelter from the elements. Start a fire so you don't freeze to death. You have a bleeding wound. Find or make a bandage and use it to stop the blood loss. Alright. Before that, let's... I'm going to go to options. Sorry that I have to do this uh, as I record. Just going to tone down the master volume a bit. 80% because it's blasting out loud in my headphones. Barely could hear myself talk. And, uh, uh, quality, no, what is this one? Uh, audio, we fixed that just now. Display, there we go. Subtitles on, please. For the sake of you guys uh, who want to actually read what the characters are saying and whatnot. So let's get back to the game. So we need to heal our wounds. Rose hips for T. Of course not. There's plenty of fire to keep us warm here. Does that actually apply? No, I guess not. I have to find something that can create bandages. Uh, let's create some tinder. Doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm close to a fire. How come? How come that does not actually warm me up? Say I'm standing here. Does it actually work? I'm in the fire. God damn it! No, uh, whatever. I'm not saying that this game is bad. I actually, I thoroughly enjoyed the original gameplay. Uh, oh, there we go. Make it. Yes, please. Yes, please. First aid, study your treatments and learn to triage, triage, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. There are many ways to die in the wilderness. Medical treatments, man-made or harvested from the natural world will save your life. Use the status screen to check on your health. Apply a treatment using the first aid radial menu. And you can also use treatments from your pack menu. 
The key to survival. Prepare preparation and self-control are vital to your survival. Check your controls menu if you're unsure of how to do something. This could save your life. Basically the game does not want me does not teach me how to use these things. First aid. Bandage that up. Okay, I got that uh Goddamn freezing. We can say that again. Let's check our status ailments. Fall. I think and we need painkillers for that. Uh antibiotics or not that. Do we? No, I didn't think so. Use print roll, need that for tinder. Man, I still remember. I still remember the ways to play this game. Uh, also, shout out to Eccentric for gifting me this game. Alright, firewood, which is good. Fire! Fire provides heat, water, food protection. Use the campfire option in the radial menu. You'll need all the fixings. A fire starter, tinder, and fuel. Accelerant speeds up the process. Fuel types impact burn time and heat production. An active fire can be used to cook and boil water, as well as keeping you from freezing to death. Still don't understand why the fire outside doesn't help. God, this looks like a bear cave. I just hope the owner does not come back. Alright, let's uh, craft that fire. Nicely placed in between the bones. A bit of interior design here and there. Okay, I got wood matches, tender plug, and Cedar, cheddar, cedar, fire, cedar. I'm sorry, I've never heard of these things, so I don't know how to pronounce them. I come from an Asian country. Come on, come on, man. But there's some more stuff for me to salvage outside. I should go back outside and check. I wonder what stopped me from doing that. Oh, now I remember. I'm freezing to death. So, therefore. We start fire and keep warm. No, no, and easy. Thank goodness for that. You can say that again. That's I can't I move. Lay down before I fall down. Yeah, scripted. Day two. I don't think that type of voice fits this uh, setting because it sounds like a zombie game now. You just made by never mind. Status is your early warning system. When you bring up the quick stats or the radial menu, you'll get a preview of your current condition as well as information about how cold, tired, hungry, and thirsty you are. Anytime one of these status indicators is empty and red, that this means you're losing condition. Lose all your condition and you'll die. <laughs> oh. Makeshift bed. Nice. Uh, he needs water, so therefore, let's burn this again. I wish we could, you know, leave it to burn while we go out. Well, that doesn't make sense because he's trying to keep the fire up. Come on. There's another gripe about this game I didn't like, which is uh, whenever you find a survival knife or an axe, you can't actually use it as a weapon. I'm not sure whether they fixed that in this one. I mean, wolves, of course, you, you might as well scramble to the closest thing that you have in inventory that's, that could act as a weapon. Uh, how long will this fire last? 58 minutes, not bad, not bad. Let's just add more fuel to it. And... Lots of snow. Let's go with the leader first. Just we don't want to take too long. Alright, and now we boil the water. Oh wait, now do choose how much. And once I've consumed the water, let's Get some more firewood. Drink it. Drink it like you mean it. Alright, so he's hungry. 
course. I might be stuck here a while. Better see what I can use. What well, can you use, my friend? Picked up everything there. Got some sticks. Feed the fire. I do not want to waste too much matches and tinder. I need to find food. Hopefully we could find some food in the wreckage. Spread that down. Yes, please. Man, it's a good thing we had that metal shard, huh? One thing I... I think, uh... A pet peeve of mine in survival games that I tend to hoard. And this game, birch tree bark, lightweight and flammable, this bark can be used as tinder. Good. Some more of those. Can't run, that's for sure. Looks like debris from the crash site above. Wonder what gave that away. It's gotta be some food. Just what I need. Yes. Take it. Take it. More matches. Okay, then. I nah, don't have to worry about matches. What's this? No. There are some readable books, if not mistaken. Oh, yes, that works. More matches. I don't have an axe yet. Some place to escape this cold. We don't need these yet. Why not? We know where they are. Okay, let's get back to the camp. Oh my god, run! You can do it. I know you hurt. Come on. The need to survive is real. Okay, I get it. Come on. That's another thing I don't like. The characters tend to complain about, them, uh, about situations too much. But then again, I'm completing too, you know. Oh crap, the fire's dead. First things first, let's eat. Eat that. Fill yourself up. On my chest. Okay. There you go. I don't feel so good. I need to rest up. That was quick. Okay. Obligatory beginning stages or levels. The weather's turning bad. I'm gonna need a good long fire to keep from freezing to death. Check the journal. Build a fire in the cave that will last like nine hours. Not sure whether the stuff I have can. Oh, I can finally run now. Let's just pick up more wood just in case. Getting colder. If I don't have enough firewood to last the night. And that should be enough. We'll find out. Is that a stamina already? God damn. Alright, that's 95% chance of success, which is good. Now I see it's a book. Start the fire. We could speed up this process if you could find a uh, lighter fluid. That's something you can find later on in the game. Keep ourselves warm, and we have an objective of keeping the fire alive for nine hours. So let's see if our resources is enough for that. Okay, let's fire feed it more here. fire. Sorry, feed it more wood, more fire. Add fuel. Add fuel. Oh, this is not going good. We can keep it up for three hours max. Tell you what, let's make some more water. He is getting hungry too. Not sure if it can actually find food. Or more debris, at least uh, there's a chance of me finding more food. 
Alright, let's drink that up. It's a good thing water is not really an issue. As long as we have fire, of course. So uh, it's gonna take us twelve minutes to break that down. Better not. Ten minutes to break this down. But then again, oh, breaking crates actually reveal contents now. That's good. The more, the more reasons to actually do it. Right. Yes, more firewood. Crates around here, let's break those. Oh, it's going to go evening already. Go back and feed the fire. Sure looks warm and comfy right there. I can't actually sprint, but at least my character's moving faster than I thought I had more books. Oh, okay. They don't stack up. Or they or do they do. I'm confused. Yes, reclaim wood actually. Oh, one more hour and I can complete this damn thing. I wish I had a way to. Uh, this game actually had a option to skip all the, uh, you know, the introduction stuff and just let me play the game. That's good. Let's just break down this. Branch, just in case. Wait. I'm so cold. I'm warming up again. What? Fire looks good. Okay. Now to warm up before I freeze to death. Get your body temperature up, warm yourself by the fire for a while. Okay. We can check the equipment. Oh, we desperately need more clothing to cover ourselves up. In due time, in due time. Start the game now. Not that storm of memory. Need to find some food. All right, time to find some food. Let's just check the objectives just in case. Explore the ravine. You need food to survive. Scavenge what you can. Eat until you're full. Your ears are your best survival tool. Pay attention to your surroundings, and you might. Glean information that's important for your survival. For example, a murder of crows circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. Yay! Can you eat trees? That was a hell of a storm last night. Blew that tree clean over. Oh, it's a hint. Clever game, clever. <clears throat> circuit. Okay, that's it. The whole uh, crows thing. Oh, there's a carcass nearby. Uh, system. Astrid, isn't that the, the name of the character in Holy Trinity Dragon as well? Cutscene. That's new. Let's get to know our character better. Character development. Oh, I like this. This uh, art style. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport. Mackenzie speaking. Hmm. 
Well, well, slow down, Wolfie. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? Ex-wife? Ex-girlfriend? It's while, I know. Awkward. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. She sounds so like to save the world. Jennifer Hale. Could Somebody be. Has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Ah, uh, gee. Questions. Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Need to know basis. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. But it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not... Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. I can't imagine myself flying in this kind of weather. I'm not really a happy flyer, too. Insight for you guys. So there you go. We got some story going on. Why can't I check the backpack? Let me check the backpack. Alright then, it won't allow me to. More firewood. Hey, my coat. Clothing is armor against cold. On the wilderness, clothing is like armor against the elements. Wear layers to, warm, uh, to stay warm. And remember, wind is your enemy. Clothing offers different protection from cold and wind chill. Your clothes can get wet from blowing snow or if you fall into water, which makes them ineffective and increases your risk of hypothermia or even frostbite. Keep your clothes as dry as you can. Finally, clothing can protect you from physical injuries as from falling or tangling with wildlife. Balance all these factors against the weight and mobility costs of your combined clothing. I could probably climb that. Alright. Just wondering why the entire game di uh, art direction did not follow the whole oil canvas painting style. I really like those kind of uh, graphics. It's something new. Cell shaded used to be a thing. 
And it's not that I don't like it. I really I really dig all these unique art styles that we've put in games. Let's go for 3.5 kg. Harvest that. We eat all the meat. But yeah, I'm looking forward to more games that actually use those kind of uh, art styles. Everything you eat can kill you when starving. You may feel desperate enough to take your chances, but in general, <coughs> excuse me, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over a fire to avoid getting food poisoning or parasites. Cooked meat also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. Because they don't like their meat cooked or well done. I don't like mine well done either. Alright, so let's get back down. I think that's enough. Are you sure I can't open this backpack? Requires hatching. Oh, I can actually climb this. I whoop whoop. Ow! Oh goddamn! Rose hips, Mother Nature's painkillers. Sometimes Mother Nature is, is your pharmacist. Craft rose hips into a pre preparation that can be boiled in water to produce tea with pain relieving properties. Keep your eyes open for other nature. Natural remedies. Reading game not on. I was wondering when we can actually pick these up. And they should actually add, or should I say, decrease hunger. Oh, that fire's dead. I have to start a new one. There goes my agility. Sprain ankle and all. Good thing there's no wolves. I just hope I didn't spoke too soon. Survival is one thing, but Astrid better pay up for the play. I think that's enough wood. I have to admit, the characters in this game are very chatty. Right? Uh, start that fire. 75%. Better than nothing. It's gonna take a while. Come on. Come on. This is a very long intro. Not something I, I'm quite, not something I'm quite fond of in most video games. There we go. Thank goodness for that. Uh, let's give it another two hours. Cook that meat. Yeah, that's right. I'm in pain. How could I forget? Do I have enough? Yeah, I still have water. So what I can do is... Uh, where was it? No. Well, let's go to our menu. Oh, I need, I need to get more. All right. All right, we'll just feed the, feed this guy first. Should we just keep the fire running? Err, uh, decisions, decisions. Might as well. Before that, let's eat something. Add more of these. Pick up some more along the way. Let's be harvest more of those uh, rose hips things. Oh god, moving ever so slowly is torture. That should be enough, right? Alright, let's craft that painkiller. Put 
a nice cook. And prepare the other venisons. This is another thing I don't really like, is that you have to pay attention to the thing that you're doing rather than, you know, leaving stuff on the fire as you multitask on other things on hand. I'd say that's a missed opportunity. But every game plays differently, I guess. Right. Oh wait, it's cold. Didn't realize that. Keep on forgetting about this uh, radial menu. Let's eat that till we're full. May as well rest up. No telling what tomorrow will bring. But ready? Can we proceed with the actual game now? It's day five already, and you're stronger today. Yeah, good. I think I can climb out of here now. Knowledge: what you know can save you, as you learn things from about the world, either through your own actions or through interacting with people. You unlock knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. Deeper knowledge can be revealed when you gain the trust of other survivors you meet. This knowledge is tracked in your journal for future references. Oh, there's. Actually, there are actual survivors out in the game now. Something that's absent from the sandbox version. Best to stock up on sticks and stuff. Because we may need to make a, another camp away from this place. I'm guessing this is where the actual game starts. Plenty of sticks there. Empty, break that because we claim wood. Ooh, okay, nice. More matches. We claim wood. Uh... Oh god, where were you when I need you? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, we claim wood actually. Uh... Creates long lasting fire. Just pick up sticks so let's not waste time with breaking branches. Pick up these just in case. Now, what's the status on our bank holder, of course? Well, that should be enough for now. I like the fact that you can actually hear what you're carrying. In the harvest, who knows? Still can't look at the backpack. Only one way to go. Don't fall again, please. <sighs> yep, we made it up. Progress! It's good. I think by the time we find a, another spot, I'll just end the recording there, and then we'll continue off in the next episode. Uh, where to next? Okay, I gotta climb here. Wow, that cliff looked exactly the same as the previous one. And that should be enough of those. Confidence, my friend, confidence. I have faith in you. You know, if I'm stranded, alone, freezing, or isolated in a Finally. very harsh environment, I might actually talk to myself as well. Hell, I'm doing it right now. Supposedly, I'm talking to an audience. But you know, there's like only two of you out there watching the thing. Uh huh. Again, I'm not really anal about my viewership. I just enjoy do, doing what I like to do, which is playing video games. And if there's anyone who wants to watch me on YouTube, 
and I'm actually glad to entertain. I mean, if I'm lacking anything, uh, if you think I'm boring or I don't tell enough jokes, if that's actually a necessity, let me know in the comments. Another cutscene. I wish the game would look like this. That'd be cool. I know this is like a. You're still wearing it. Huh? Wearing what? It's not actually fully 3D. The uh, graphics. Our ring. I don't know what what's it called. It's live 2D, was it? But it's well done. I actually I look, really like this art style. I wear mine too. Yeah, so Why? they were formerly married. Memories, I guess. I thought you wanted to forget. Not all of it. Look. I, I should have looked for you. It's okay. I've kept busy. I've moved on. Have you now? Sure. Because this all seems pretty familiar. Still working with that researcher, Doctor? What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. The center? Where? Umbrella Corporation? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? Uh, I'm not here to fight, really. It begins. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. But you don't have to. Let's just... Not. No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's. Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit. What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. He is the most calmest pilot I've ever heard. There must be signs of Astrid around here somewhere. Achievement! The journey begins, finally. Right. Came from there, right? Yeah. How the hell did you fling all the way to that side? Alright. Uh, there goes my hoarding uh, bad habits in survival games. Speaking of which, I need to check my weight. Not my weight, but stuff I'm carrying. 12 kgs or over 30 limit. Oh god, I actually thought it was a snake or something. Let's craft more stuff. Got uh, bandages. Let's craft them later when I need to. Uh... Not you like orange soda? Ah, dude. This isn't how things were supposed to end. I guess the story is about moving on with closure. I guess aside from the whole geostorm thing. Okay, I think I want to prioritize and find and reclaim what there's any. And keep the sticks number down. That's all for this place, so it doesn't hurt to actually explore some more. I know there's that thing that we saw earlier on, so I guess that's our way where we need to progress. How are we doing the food? Food's okay, water's okay. Astrid's jacket. She definitely passed through here. Maybe the hurry. Sprinting, run for your life. Walking through the snow with heavy pack can get tiring. 
sometimes you just have to run, escape wildlife, avoid weak ice, or even get to shelter faster by sprinting. Keep in mind that sprinting uses up more calories than walking, uh, and your sprint stamina is limited by how restrictive your clothing is. It takes you a little while to recover sprint stamina, so use it wisely. Ah uh, yes, what is a survival game if not limited? limited. God damn it, tongue worked. What is a survival game without limitations? Could have sound cooler if I made that in one take. I've been at it for quite a while. I don't think we need to set up camp yet. More stuff to discover. More stuff to explore, and hopefully no wolves. Or bear. Or bear wolves. This place is vast. It's quite huge. Is there something I can cross over, or is it just aesthetic? Yeah, it's aesthetic. It's a lot of wood, though. Not much on the. At least, oh, it's grass. Should we thought it's something that you can harvest. Keep on running, baby. Really? That was like two feet, come on. Wow, Astrid really wants me to find her. Leaving cloth here and there. I could actually harvest that. Man. Rabbits. Rabbits equals food. They may be cute and cuddly, but they taste good. Stones! Aim true and you won't go hungry. You can pick up small stones and use them to stun rabbits, equip them, and throw them to hit a rabbit. Then grab it while it's stunned. If you can kill it, you can eat it. So how do I kill it after it's stunned then? Uh, weapons. Funny that how rocks is actually categorized as weapons. You cheeky bastards, you know how to hide in the grass. This is not Horizon Zero Dawn, so no easy kills for me. I'm guessing picture perfect. In frame, nope, I suck. Press, keep on pressing C or crouch. Let's get more, like a better word, ammo. Or um, Master Rabbits. That's not what I, want, what I wanted to do. <laughs> Frustrations! Couldn't kill a rabbit with a rock, god damn! Show my frustrations. Take that, you piece of ice. It's not really a piece now, isn't it? Crap, this is thin ice. I been here recently. Yep. Could it have been after? And you left beef jerky. Either you're being kind, or you... I totally forgot about that. There's a lot of food around. I don't think uh, Mackenzie actually. I got one. Okay, I didn't even aim. I. I... What? What? Oh god! I totally forgot it stuns them. I didn't know it was like for a brief moment. Slow down! Slow down, you bastard! I'm not even sure whether crouching actually helps. Oh, that's right. This is for aiming. I'm just a uh, guy lost in the woods, playing a phantom, almost, almost literally too. God, that throw was weak. Come here, you rabbit! Almost got him too. Oh god, this is gonna be. This is gonna take a while. I actually got one by accident and missed the chance to actually pick it up. Yes, that's one for frustrations. Come on, you damn rabbit. So close. I don't know why I picked that up, but okay then. God, aiming in this game is so tough. 
It's a challenge, I can tell you that. I highly doubt I could actually throw, throw something in real life and be that accurate. I'm not done with you yet! God damn! I keep, I keep on doing that. Oh come on, that almost hit, right? I am so bad at this. I am so bad at this. One day, one day I will hit a rabbit. Am I required to actually do that? Oh no, I'm not. God damn, I just wasted a lot of time. But in any case, we found the campsite. So just gonna start a fire and call it a day, shall we? Um, so yeah, that should be good. Oh wait, I forgot. I got. Can I cancel this? No, I can't. Totally forgot. I got lighter fluid to actually help out with the fire. But then again, might as well save them up for something important or an emergency. So it's not a bad deal not using the lighter fluid now. Only got two, I think. Yeah. I'm not much of a hunter in this game, I can tell you that. It took me a while to get used to the bow and arrow as well. And it uh, yeah, let's see this first before I continue talking. Is there anything for me to craft? I think I need more water, so let's melt that. So yeah, I used the bow and arrow in the uh, sandbox version of the game and it took me a while to actually get good. And rocks is not actually my weapon of choice. I can tell you that much. And as you guys witnessed, I as well as use that tablet to purify water. So we got water. It's nothing there for us to cook, but we found plenty of stuff to eat. I wouldn't say plenty, but enough. Let's give that a drink. Eat that venison. So damn white, I can't see. Okay, there we go. Save that one venison for later and just eat this beef jerky. And how's my warmth? Slowly building up. And how long do I have left? 15 minutes. So I guess let's throw in some sticks. There we go. Alright, and I'm gonna end this episode here. And I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode for now. And look forward to the next one. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.